In this video, we're going to look at how we can color our tracks in Pro Tools 12. Okay, so coloring your tracks is very easy to do in Pro Tools 12, and it's a great thing to do once you start the mixing phase, or maybe even the recording phase. By coloring our tracks differently, you see here we have vocal tracks, background vocal tracks, lead vocal tracks, different colors, as, as well as uh, drums, guitars, things like that, all different colors. So visually, we are able to quickly see what kind of track we are working on. So let's go ahead and start coloring our tracks. There's a couple ways we can do this. We can double click on this strip down here, right on the strip, not in here in the comments, not on the track name, but on this strip at the bottom. Just double click, brings up your color palette. Another way to get to your color palette would be to come to window and color palette. Same exact thing. Let me go and click default here. We have to explain a couple things first. So if I click default, nothing's happening here. Let me go ahead and select all of these tracks. And I'll just double click on a strip. Default and everything is defaulted to audio track colors, uh, aux send colors, and so on. Now, this default corresponds to a setting we have here in setup, preferences, display, default track color coding, and what it will be on by default is track type. We also have default clip color coding, which we might get into in a different video, but let's just stick with this. If we go to none, click OK. You can see everything is grayed out. So now everything is default. So even if I were to say select one track and color that, we can still do that. We can color them individually then. But if we click default, it's going to go to default. Okay. You'll probably leave this on track type, but you can change this to a different thing. So if we ch if I change it to tracks and MIDI channels, okay, now you'll see what happens here. See. Now we get sort of this rainbow effect. And you can still go in and change the color of each individual track as you want. Okay, so now that we've explained the default, let's go and put it back to track type. Okay. Now that gives us the default of more than likely what you'll see as soon as you turn on this little button right here, which is what's going to activate your track color. Okay. So I default everything out. You see, if I don't have this button checked, which this is the most important part here to color your tracks is this button right here, saturation and brightness. And also our drop down over here, where we're choosing what we are applying the color to. You see we can apply colors to tracks, clips and tracks, clips and clips list, and groups. So groups would be right here. Clips and clips list would be over here. Clips and tracks would of course be our clips and tracks, which we'll get into in the, in the next video. And tracks are the tracks right here, our channel strips. All right, so make sure you have tracks chosen then turn on this little button right here that will apply it to the track. So if we don't have this selected, you can see all we have down here is colors on the strip right here. So if I select the track, change it to green, that just changes that one track, just that one strip on that track, on the selected track. All right, if we want the actual track to be affected and not be gray, check that button. Make sure it's punched in and lit up blue. Then you use your saturation slider. If we take it all the way down, you see, again, we just have the colored strips. Same for over here in the edit window, just the colored strips. And if we go ahead and take that saturation up, now we have actual colors of our tracks. Okay, so that's the basics. Then you can, of course, adjust the brightness. Settings I like are saturation all the way up, brightness pretty much all the way down. Now to change individual track colors, again, just select the track, choose a color to select multiple tracks. I'll just select one here and I'll shift click another track name and we'll change all those to sort of a pink. Now if I adjust the saturation with just these selected, that's going to affect everything. So the saturation, the brightness, and whether or not to apply this to the actual channel or just the strip, all that's global. But the color itself is individual to the selected tracks, okay? So I can change all those selected ones. So this blue color, pretty cool. Now what if I have this blue color is selected, and I have tracks down here, I want that same blue color. Well, I can try to remember it, right? <laughs> but say I want this hats track to be the same blue color. Now, as soon as I click on this track, you can see the focus of our color is changed to the actual color of that track. So if I select this green track, our focus color is that green color. Hmm, well, I want this sort of blue color, but I don't remember which one it was. I can try to click around. Well, there's an easy way around that, so let's just, Go to one of these tracks that's blue, select it, 
that color is highlighted. I'll then click the hold button and you can see now that color is in focus. All right. So now if I select, say, another green track or a drum aux, the color doesn't focus to the actual color of the track. It holds on that color. So now I can simply select that color and that track will be changed. So again, if I if hold is off and I select this guitar aux, which is green, you see the color switches. So now I have to kind of click around and say, which color was that? Oh, there it is. Okay. One of those. That's that's pretty good. So if you want to color tracks the same color, just use that hold button. So here's a purple track. I'll hit hold there. I'll select this track, shift, click all those, and just click that purple again. And there we go. So that is the basics of coloring your tracks here in Pro Tools. You can see these colors also correspond in our tracks list over there as well. Just make sure you remember those basic things. Let me turn off hold there. Remember those basic things of if we're coloring tracks, make sure tracks is selected. Make sure you have this button turned on. If you don't, then you're just coloring the strips of your selected tracks. So I'll select these tracks here and go to green. So again, that's just the strips. If we turn on the apply to channel button there, it will color the entire channel. All right, then we have our hold options, our default options, which click default. That will make our audio tracks default to the blue, which is the default, our aux track default to green, so on and so forth. Remember to select the actual track. So just click on the name and all those will turn the color that you select. You can also, of course, select the track. And by the way, I had a lot of tracks selected. Just hold down Alt and click on one of them that will deselect all of them. So I'll select this track. Let's come down to say here and I'll shift click that because these are contiguous. All right. And you can see all the different colors there. Let's change all those to red. All right. Then maybe select this track and I'll shift select this one. Then I'll control select those because they're non-contiguous and change all those to purple. All right. And again, you have the default, which corresponds to our setup preferences and our default track color coding. And of course we have none. Go to none. Makes them have no color at all. Which I could select everything. Go to none. Now there's no colors at all. All right. So just remember those tips really easy to color your tracks here in Pro Tools using the color palette, using that hold feature, using the default. And of course, in your drop down, make sure tracks is chosen. And the main thing to remember is make sure you turn on the apply to the actual channel strip button here. Otherwise, you're just going to color the strips. And whenever you turn this on, more than likely, you're going to default your saturation all the way down. So don't freak out if you, you know, you have all your tracks selected here. You say, all right, I'm going to color these tracks purple or pink and uh, well, hmm, that's not doing what we want. Remember, saturation slider has to be turned up. There we go. Again, adjust your brightness, default, none, hold. Hopefully you get the idea. And you can also do other things like color the clips and tracks, which we'll look at in the next video. But that is how you color tracks in Pro Tools, really easy to use using the color palette. Again, to get to the color palette, you can double click on the bottom strip right there on your in your mix window or come to window and color palette. You can also do this from your edit window. Just click on the strip that will bring up your color palette and we can select some tracks. Let's turn those green. There we go. So that's coloring tracks in Pro Tools 12.